it seems that nobody wanted to talk about it. Nobody, like, you yeah. know, you're not even not even the people it happened to. So my grandmother survived residential school as well as my grandfather, then goes on to have children. So she's there from six years old to 16, 10 years robbed from her family, beaten if she speaks Anishinaabemowin or Ojibwe. She would be sexually abused. Like all of these, and uh, all of the kids this was happening to, children, like small children. So we all know what generational or transgenerational trauma is. And now I know as in nations of people that these were the things that happened. And I stood there at 38 years old going, oh my, like no wonder I'm screwed up and my family's messed up and so dysfunctional. And it literally gave me this moment where like I had no, I was ashamed of who I was and where I came from. I would literally tell people and (laughs) I would make up cultures when people would ask me where I'm from. Like I'm Italian, I'm like just literally blatantly not admit to being indigenous. Um, for many, many years, and especially in, I think, my 20s is when I was, like, in that phase where I was, like, so ashamed of of, of who I was and where I came from. And so um, when I read those reports and understood that this was so much bigger than me just having a dysfunctional family, that I recognized I, have, I had no reason to any longer be ashamed. 